Hi guys, Prairie Plant Girl here. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of annual planting in my flower beds. So I uh, picked up some this candy corn it's called or I think it's Manisha. It's a vine and if you look, see if I can find you some there, it gets these little flowers on it there. They do look just like candy corn. And then I have some then I have some Rio or Dap Dapladenia that I uh, took as cuttings off of some plants that I had planted last year. Now these ones haven't started to flower yet. I'm not sure it's the first time I've taken cuttings so we'll see if they uh, get some flowers on them but I also have some I'm going to be putting also some I'm going to be putting somewhere else. So I picked those up from the store so I'll show you what the flowers are going to look like if, if my cuttings flower. So this is the flower that the Rio gets. So mine haven't flowered yet, the ones that I took from cuttings, but I am hoping that uh, once they get down in the ground that they start to, to get their flowers on as well. So I'll show you where I'm going to be putting them. So I have this uh, little trellis here, obelisk I guess, and I, I painted it a few years ago and I have it here in a, I have it here in a little corner of the yard where uh, there'll be some nice tall phlox that grows up behind it and there's some lilies on the left as you look at it that are just starting to come up and some more lilies in the front kind of on the right and some mountain mint on the left there in the front. So a nice little spot, should be a nice cheery place, but until those other plants get going, those perennials get going, I thought we'd put some annuals there to, to brighten the corner. So let's get planting. Okay, so I think the best way will be to put these more taller vines up along the back and the sides, and I'll put the the rios along the front. roots on those. So this one, because it's in this peat pot, and I don't want the peat pot to wick any of the moisture away from the roots and up to the top of the pot, so I'm just going to pull it down like that. You can see it's a little bit of a younger younger cutting there. It just has a few few roots going. So we'll see. So there. I think that looks quite nice. I'm always looking for ways to to attract the hummingbirds into my garden. They uh, they usually show up here for about a month or so in August and I've seen them around once in a while earlier than that so I'm always looking for flowers that'll maybe entice them to come a little sooner and stay. So they like tubular shaped flowers so I'm hoping that these candy corn flowers will do the trick with those and they are attracted to red so hopefully these rios when they flower bright red flowers will attract them as well. Now these were a little bit more of a, a shorter plant last year and they really seem to want to vine this year. I've never grown them before last year so this is my first year doing cuttings off of them and I'm just not sure 
what they're supposed to be doing. So if any of you have ever grown these and taken cuttings before, let me know. Is there a trick that I need to do to get them to flower or is this going to help just getting them in the ground and getting them out in the sun like this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.